Hi everyone, meteorologist Joe Chaffee, meteorologistjoechaffee.com, weatherlongisland.com, ssstormchasers.com uh, for all your uh, weather information and storm chasing desires. Okay, so we've got uh, just a couple of things I want to point out with respect to the tropics. And the first thing is uh, we have disturbed weather that's sitting northeast of the Leeward Islands. You can see it here. It's a uh, tropical wave. Um, that's moving uh, very slowly to the west northwest, and you know we saw this yesterday. There's a little sign of curvature here. Um, no uh, circulation has developed, but there's a possibility that this could develop into something over the next couple of days. Uh, to be honest, the only model that spins up anything with this is the Canadian model, and frankly, uh, the Canadian model spins up everything. So uh, you know it, it's hard to. Uh, lend some get support from model model wise one that's really the only one that's doing it uh, but on the other hand I'm kind of looking at the satellite signature here and it's not that unimpressive so that'll be something uh, to, to think about and I'm just going to jump uh, the uh, hurricane center this would be invest 93 L did run some uh, models on this and it looks like uh, half of them take it north and northeast, which is, by the way, what the Canadian does, and which kind of makes sense with what's going on along the East Coast. And the other half takes it west-northwest all the way through, at least into the Bahamas, which I think an argument can be made also with regards to um, what's going on along the East Coast. So uh, we'll give you a close-up view here on this visible shot, and uh, we'll take a look at here on the tight loop. And you can kind of see, when you see these little flares of cirrus that show up, you know, it's sometimes it's a sign of at least some kind of mid-level circulations developing. Uh, it looks, or or maybe even a weak low-level circulation. I, I'm thinking I could pick one out right about there. Uh, there's a little bit of a twist in the clouds. But you know what? You want to see something like this over a longer period, much longer period of time uh, before you make uh, any kind of conclusion with regards to that. And one of the things that we're looking at long range in terms of the tropics, so there's a, this is right now, of course, with this upper low, this was analyzed this evening, so you have the two ridges in between. And we've been talking about this sort of box that the, uh, that, that what was her mean was in. And now, of course, that's lifting out and gone, and the ridge builds back in the Atlantic. But what happens when we get through next week is that a weakness develops in that ridge. A part of it wants to move, wants to maintain some strength in the southeast United States, and part of it wants to maintain um, strength in the eastern Atlantic, and you have this trough that's coming through uh, in eastern Canada and the northeast for the middle of next week that sort of drops into that weakness. So it would make sense that anything that does develop uh, out in the tropics not the one in the Leeward Islands, but I'm talking about maybe the one, uh, the another one. Uh, there's one off the African coast, which I'll come back to in a second. But anything that forms out here is going to wind up getting caught in, in this weakness and moving out. And when we look down even into day 10, you know, the westerlies are pretty far south here that go from, you know, you basically have a straight line wind that runs from um, central Canada through the Dakotas and the Great Lakes to off the northeast coast of the United States. So, you know, with this west-northwest flow that uh, even goes down all the way to Bermuda, it really um, is, an, uh, is not a favorable, it's not an upper air that brings things up the east coast. If you get something tucked into this upper ridge, then you could possibly bring in something um, across the, the islands and maybe into Florida or the Gulf of Mexico. But, you know what, things have to kind of line up that way so you know let, let's see spec uh, how this plays out the uh, wave in question that's further out is here starting to come into the edge of the screen a lot of convection with that uh, it's poorly organized at the moment but uh, conditions are uh, favorable aloft for gradual development uh, over the weekend so this might become a tropical depression uh, early next week um, this would be something that would be caught by that, that trough out in the atlantic so uh, i just want to real quick go over the short range Outlook for you, and we'll uh, go to a nice tighter view, and we'll also back it up. And guess what? We're also going to change models. <laughs> so you look at the GFS here. So here's the upper air for the next few days. So this ridge builds in. We get some uh, hot weather for a couple of days into the weekend, and Saturday there's going to be a warm front that sets up, so that's going to make forecasting temperatures a bit difficult. Somebody's going to stay in the 80s or low 80s, and somebody's going to go to 94 or 5 
uh, in the stretch from southern New Jersey to southern New England. And then this trough comes through, so we get a cold front and a, a little cool down early next week. And then this uh, second trough comes through in the middle of the week, which brings another cold front through and another uh, cool down and, and humidity break. And then it's just pretty much a northwest flow. It's the same idea. Ridge builds, trough moves through. Ridge builds, trough moves through. So wash, rinse, repeat pattern uh, over the next uh, couple of weeks. Uh, with respect to any thunderstorms this weekend uh, or over the next couple of days, you know, there could always be that isolated cell uh, that develops uh, uh, during uh, the afternoon and evening. Models do show that. I, I, I you know, I'm wondering whether it's a little overstated. Then you got this warm front right here for Saturday that's just to the south of New York City and comes through. And then this cold front comes through Saturday night into Sunday morning. Doesn't have a whole lot with it. We could see a shower or thunderstorm with that. And then in comes the dry air. So, you know what? It's pretty uneventful uh, over the next uh, um, several days to a week or so. We'll watch the tropics, keep you updated on the developments there. And don't forget, SS Storm Chasers for your storm chasing needs, meteorologist joechaffee.com, weatherlongisland.com. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel here. It's free, um, and it uh, really helps me out with my standing with Google. Um, they distribute my product more if, you, if I have more subscribers, and that's good for me because then the more people I have, the more videos I'll do. Okay, so have a great day.